Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 21st of March for the Sun or the Ascendant. What I'm going to do is give you a broad overview of what to expect, but please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac sign forecasts. Now this week begins with the Sun finding its way in its new home of Aries. This obviously gives us an opportunity for a sense of renewal, for getting on the front foot with fresh plans or revitalising the strands that are ongoing with greater energy and enthusiasm. So really exciting stuff. But of course the ruler of the sign of Aries is Mars and that's in sector 11 uh, alongside Venus in the sign of Aquarius. And Mars comes into a direct and exact right angle with Uranus, the ruler of Aquarius, the modern ruler of Aquarius, on Tuesday. Now, therefore, it could be a restless start to this week. Mars squaring Uranus can make us a bit more impatient, more easily frustrated with limitations. It could see us experiencing a greater consciousness about those people who share different values to us. We may be more impulsive about spending money. Also, someone could try to dominate us and restrict our freedoms, but equally uh, we can push back on any restrictions that are trying to be imposed on us. So that's an interesting combination. At the heart of this week, also Mercury, in its uh, debilitated journey through Pisces, uh, combines with Neptune. Now this is absolutely awesome if we want to embrace the more spiritual dimension, to do some meditation or perhaps some creative writing or listen to some really enchanting music, but it can make it more difficult to grapple with details. So our concentration could be affected a little bit at the heart of this week. However, later in the week, Mercury moves forwards to forge a very penetrating link with Pluto. Pluto in the sign of Capricorn for that little while longer. It's moving into Aquarius next year, 23, for two, nearly two and a half months. And then we'll go into Aquarius in 24 for a longer stay. But that combination between Mercury and Pluto can give Mercury in Pisces, which can be very uh, mutable, can give it a bit more shape. So excellent for thinking behind the scenes of situations, do a bit of probing or research. But Friday's quarter moon also occurs in the sign of Capricorn. And of course, like Aries, this is a cardinal sign, very much about leadership. And I think the energy of the sun in Aries is quite immediate. It's, it's focused on what it wants to do in the here and now. Whereas the energy of Capricorn is more about the long established uh, ways that things are structured. So it can be like having to deal with uh, someone in, in a position of authority, like a line manager. It could be an institution, a governmental agency, and we may encounter some frustration. If something we want to do that's new and fresh and exciting somehow receives less than enthusiastic support from someone who's part of the establishment, if you like. But that Aries energy is given a significant boost on Sunday when Mercury, the planet of thought and talk, moves into this sign and that gives it much more fire, much more thrust. And I think that whole uh, feeling of a new beginning is definitely going to be rejuvenated even more. Now, please stay with me for your uh, in-depth horoscope forecast, but if you are new to my channel, I'd be honoured if you would subscribe. If you'd also like to rise above zodiac uh, astrology and understand more about your own personal situation, you can take advantage of my special offer of character analysis and a 12-month forecast. Get 30% off. No two charts are the same, and it will give you searing insights for the months ahead. If you'd like to get your free daily written horoscope fire to your device each morning, please see the link beneath this video too, where you can subscribe for that. Hello Aries and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 21st of March. If you're born right at the start of the sign of Aries, 
think already this week you're going to be feeling an awakening, a sense that new and exciting things are coming. But of course you do have some energy located in your 12th house still. It's very much to do with just withdrawal, thinking quietly, maybe feeling even a little bit nostalgic. If you find yourself flicking over some photo albums from years gone by or reviewing uh, some pictures on your phone, it wouldn't be a surprise. But once that combination between uh, Mercury and Neptune dissolves away later in the week, I think it's going to liberate you, particularly once Mercury arrives in your sign on Sunday. That brings you into the present. Things that have been dragging, if there has been a bit of a vague sense of anxiety or innovation, things aren't really moving quite as quickly as you would like. Whenever you are born in the sign of Aries, by the end of this week you're going to be feeling more decisive. You may even want to take on some challenges and that could be you know, if you are in a situation where your personal creativity or self-expression is being thwarted somehow, the quarter moon on Friday brings that sharply into focus. Now, it doesn't mean to say that you have to go into conflict with someone. It's more that you may become more aware of the politics of a situation. And sometimes the very people that we can find most awkward are those that we do need to keep on side in order to further our aims. So as much as you may find yourself in feeling a little bit exasperated towards the end of this week, think of the long-term plan, because the sign of Capricorn where Pluto is located and links with Mercury later this week is very much about strategic success for you. And it's been in this area since 2008, and it's probably brought a lot of changes in your work professional alliances or even how you connect to the world at large or, or even people older or younger than you during that change because that's what Pluto is very much about, the potential for transformation. And I just think at this late stage as Pluto is making its way through the last embers of the sign of Capricorn, just try to control any impatience. So even if something is really frustrating, you're actually keeping a bit of a distance from it and working around it and just thinking where your next step is so you're not instantly getting overwhelmed by any frustrations. Mm -hmm.